And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're all well, before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, a lot of stuff has been going on over the last 24 hours, we're here to give you the actual update on what's happening with regards to Ruben Amarim, uh, we're also going to be going over why Liverpool have been handed a huge boost, whilst also going through all the latest Liverpool news from the last 24 hours. Of course the Reds are back in action tomorrow. Tomorrow, as we take on Atalanta in the Europa League quarterfinals, looking to try and get back to winning ways, of course, after that poor draw against um, uh, Manchester United at the weekend. And as stated, guys, there is actually no margin for error at this moment in time when it comes to the games. Some would say they don't really care too much about the Europa League, but I mean, going forward into the Premier League, look, there's no room for error. We need to be making sure that we're finding ways of winning going forward. Um, and yeah look to try and get back to winning ways after that fairly um, poor performance against Manchester United. But we have been handed a huge boost as um, ahead of it, guys. We've got four key players returning back to full training on Tuesday. Yes, Diego Jota, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Alisson and Stefan Bishashic all played full part in the red session on Tuesday afternoon. This is despite Jurgen Klopp suggesting last week that all four would likely only join parts of the team's training this week. It remains to be seen whether any of that quartet are able to feature against Atalanta on Thursday evening, having been out for lengthy periods of times. But the imminent boost to Klopp's options is a welcome one with Liverpool engaged in a Premier League title race and still in the Europa League. Alisson has been sidelined since February with a muscle complaint, while Alexander-Arnold and Jota were struck down that same month with knee issues. Um, so guys, it's massive that those four players um, have returned back to training. And as stated, whilst I do believe that this game on Thursday has probably come too soon, um, it's you know imminent. They're going to be back very, very soon. And as stated, that we are a huge, huge boost for us, especially with Alisson. I think people will um, maybe because Kelleher has been fantastic backup goalkeeper for us, but I think some people have questioned at times how big and how impactful that Allison actually is as a goalkeeper for us. We have actually missed him despite Kelleher doing really, really well. You can't replace what Allison has. Trent Alexander Arnold as well in um, big moments and big games as well, the impact that he's had for us as well. So it'd be good to see him and Diego Jota just offers something up top that other strikers don't. So yeah, super happy that those players are back returning again um, and hopefully won't be long until they'll be featuring week in and week out for the Reds. Now in other news guys, a lot of the talk around this football club has been around Ruben Amarim. Look, and we did state from Portuguese sources um, two days ago before I took my flight um, to Austria that of course Liverpool had been having kind of talks um, and it did seem as though Ruben uh, was close to being the next Liverpool manager. However, following that bit of news, a lot of other sources were going out to say, that a deal was done. We've seen stuff coming out in, uh, in Sky Germany stating everything was completely done. However, Liverpool have came out and insisted that they have not reached an agreement with Ruben Amarim to become the club's next manager. As stated, a number of reports emerging on Tuesday suggested the Reds had made contact or contract offer to the sporting coach. However, senior Anfield figures have told us here at LFC News that any suggestion of a deal being struck is seriously wide off the mark. They insist Amarim is one of a number of options being considered to step into Jurgen Klopp's shoes when he departs this summer. The process to identify that replacement, which is led by Fenway Sports Group CEO of Football Michael Edwards, remains ongoing. Despite no agreement having been reached, Amarim is a strong contender for the role, thanks to yet another impressive season at Sporting. The Lisbon club set themselves up for a successful end to the campaign, with two huge results against Benfica over the course of last week. The first of those two were a 2-2 draw in the second leg of the attack at the Portugal semi-finals, which secured a 4-3 victory and a passage to the competition's final. And then the second, of course, was a last gasp Premier League win that's sporting uh, four points clear of their city rivals at the top of the table with a game in hand. That means Amarim is on course to bring a second league title in four seasons to the Estadio Jose Alvad, while he could also add the first Taca de Portugal to the two Taca de Liga he has previously secured. So as stated, guys, on this channel, only like to give you reputable information and unfortunately some of the reports you would have seen over the last 24 hours are seriously seriously wide of the mark there is nothing done at this moment in time um, so don't fall for it just yet it is wide of the mark 
Liverpool have not agreed a deal yet, but when they do, or if they do, of course, you'll be the first to know on this channel. But our sources state that nothing has been done and Liverpool ins themselves insist they are completely wide off the mark. Whilst I do think he'll be the next Liverpool manager, um, anything that's done yet is um, not true and far too early in advance at this moment in time. So, yeah, unfortunately, good news or bad news for, for some of you. Um, I do think he will be our manager, but it won't be confirmed this early. Uh, finally, guys, Liverpool have announced when their pre-season will begin. Spanish side Real Betes added to fixture list this summer. For the first time since 2019, Liverpool will return to the US to prepare for the 2024-2025 season, and their tour will kick off in Pittsburgh on Friday, July 26th. The Reds will come up against Real Betes at the 68,000 capacity Acru Stadium, Hinesfield, in what will be the club's first game in charge for the club's new manager. Whether that be Ruben Amarim, we don't know just yet, guys, as I stated. From there, they venture to Philadelphia on July 31st to face Arsenal, followed by a clash with Manchester United in South Carolina on August 3rd. Liverpool Mars met Betes in a competitive fixture back in 2005 when they faced off in the group stages of the Champions League, when the Reds were defending their European Cup crown. And they had a familiar face in their ranks in Nabil Faker, who was close to a move to Anfield back in 2018. This summer will, of course, be led by a new manager with Jurgen Klopp departing Anfield at the end of the season. With the Euros and the Copa America also taking place over the summer, Liverpool will likely have a number of first-team players reporting late for pre-season, with plenty of opportunities for youngsters to impress the new manager while in America. Liverpool's three confirmed pre-season friendlies are as follows. Betters, July 26th. Arsenal, July 31st. Manchester United, August 3rd. A pre-sale code will be made available for the Real Betters game for official LFC members, season ticket holders and official LFC supporters, clubs, hospitality members and international academies. This can be used to purchase tickets from Wednesday, April 10th from 3pm. Tickets will go on general sale to the public for 2pm, GP, uh, um, 9am and then Ticketmaster on April 11th. Speaking about the addition of a third game, the Reds pre-season tour schedule Ben Latty, the club's commercial director, said adding Pittsburgh to our pre-season tour schedule was a great way to start our eagerly anticipated return to the USA. We are delighted to quickly sell out the fixtures against Arsenal and Manchester United on this tour and are equally um, excited to be able to offer our supporters in the States and other opportunities to see Liverpool play. Real Betis will come with a strong squad and it's going to be a great occasion, another iconic setting in another fantastic US city. So everything's starting to take place um, ahead of the new campaign as well. But of course, we are still fighting all fronts in this campaign. Um, we don't yet know who our manager is going to be. Yes, it does look like Ruben's very, very close, but not quite done just yet. Um, but if you want to keep up to date with all of that stuff, guys, please do uh, make sure you do subscribe. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the Ruben Amarim news. Let me know your thoughts on the players returning, that being Trent Alexander-Arnold, Stefan Bishesh, it's Diego Jota and Alison Becker. And let me know your thoughts on the American preseason tour down there in the comment section below guys that brings us to the end hit the like button hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all next time remember to do check out our uh, cl official clothing store uh, cobbikeclothing.com where you can shop all your Liverpool t-shirts link is down there in the description or as stated cobbikeclothing.com thank you and I'll see you all next time take care peace